back here in Vegas in the amazing A Gamer's Paradise. Actually, really want that game. Can I get this Hercules? <laughs> Is it okay if I go into your office? Absolutely, go into my office. Thanks. This is so cool. Look at this. I'm in the back office of a gamer's paradise. But, you know, like the the, the six million dollar man and the uh, the rocket ship you know I used to have those when I was a kid um, so I wanted to get those back again that's uh, my original Star Trek calendar from 1976 that's your personal that's calendar. my personal that's calendar cool. just like these are my personal McDonald glasses up there from when I was a kid I noticed you have the Star Wars cups over there too mm -hmm. bad. yep those are mine when I was a kid as well along with the uh, you know I had to pick up the Dragon's Lair cards um, the original X-Wing fighter I used to have when I was a kid. Oh, you kept all your toys in good condition. No, no, I had to rebuy all the oh, stuff. My mom stuff. gave all the stuff away. I had to go <laughs> buy it again. Like the Space 1999 Eagle Chef in the box. I had to rebuy that all over again because my mom, my mom gave away everything. So you, this is where you work. This is your workshop. And yes. This right here is your childhood. So your life. Yes. These are things from my childhood that I just wanted to recollect over again. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Micronauts. I was big into Micronauts when I was a kid. That's why I picked up, you know, the Hydrocopter, the Mobile Exploration Lab. That's the original programs from the, the Star Wars and the Star Trek movie that I got when I was a kid when I went to go see the movies. It's incredible. So I'm in the area that I most love, and it's the PlayStation area to find out what we can get for my collection. Uh, just doing a checkup on this one. It's 
they're going to have a tournament here tonight, so I got called in just to double check everything that should be working or not working on this. But the problem that we're having today is, is the lights, some of the lights are missing out there. Right, right, right now you can't tell because I have a test mode. But some of the lights are out, so before I left with the play field, I want to clear out the ball, so I kind of just reminded myself. Otherwise, you would have had a great video of all the balls <laughs> flying. Everyone would have laughed and they would say, is this guy a technician? Well, I could be, but I forget too, you know. Just stopped by at Gamers Paradise and now I'm heading over to the Pinball Museum, which is across the way. Really fantastic place to come when you're in Vegas. Come check it out right here next door, the Pinball Museum. Let's head over there, it's freaking hot. I'm here with Beth. Hi, how are you doing? I'm at the Pinball Museum. She's gonna go ahead and tell us what this is all about. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like everybody to know that this place is all nonprofit. Uh, we're a volunteer staff, and the owners of these machines have not taken a pay in over 25 years. We started with a handwritten flyer for canned goods. So if you want to come on down and get your roots to gaming, have a great time, you know it's all going to a great place. So we appreciate it very much. Thank you so much, Beth. I got my quarters here. I'm gonna go game. Thank nice. you so Have much. Fun. <laughs> so the first game I'm gonna start with is the uh, Freddy Krueger. You know, I love horror, so. I'm here with MJ. You got any uh, th anything to plug, like uh, Instagram or something? No, not really. Nothing? Just, just here to uh, plug Maui it. Joe Coffee Company, MauiJoe.blogspot.com. All right, you heard him. He's gonna play this game. What's it called? Jumping Jack. Jumping Jack. Jack. So this is actually something I've wanted to do my entire life, which is, you know, get help the technicians get everything in perfect working order. And this, the Pinball Hall of Fame, is a all 100% volunteer uh, organization, nonprofit, 
and uh, I'm working on finding out how much it's going to cost me to pop a free game on every game in the house. While I'm doing that, the powers that be, the manager and the owner, uh, said, hey, will you write a note on every machine and let us know what's wrong with everyone? And, I mean, there's more perfectly working machines in here than I've ever seen. And I just, I've been playing pinball since I was six years old. I'm just a big fan and really want to learn how to make, uh, take care of my own pinball machine. That doesn't seem to be working out so well. So it's a learning process. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. And there's not near enough pinball fixing technicians in the world. Both of them are really grumpy and hate doing it. <laughs> Thank you so much, though. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Aloha, Lorenzo. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good day. Oh no, my one weakness are claw machines. I've got $20 worth of quarters in my pocket. And there's a freaking 50 cent machine, claw machine in here. I don't think this is gonna end well. I'll, I'll do one more, one more. I promise, just one more. Womp womp. <laughs> oh, this is my uh, 
This is one of my favorite games right here. It's uh, I'll, I'll buy if uh, if the uh, Stephanie McMahon, I uh, um, Myra, Myra the Midnight Witch. Yeah, I love this one. Back in 1970, 80, 79, where I, where um, me and my little brothers got hooked on pinball, and every chance we get after school, we used to go to this hamburger place called Jimbo, Jimbo's Hamburgers, back in uh, Rosemead, Rosemead, California. And every quarter we get, every every dollar we get, we used to go to Jimbo's to play pinball machines like, the whole afternoon. And those fun times. And it's nice to find this place again. It brings me back memories, so I'm very glad to be here. Well, this is the first time I brought my kids, but it's good to get back and play the pinballs. It's fun. It's awesome. This was one of your favorite games as a kid? Yeah. Uh, This looks interesting. It's broken.
So I'm out here enjoying um, some popcorn from this popcorn machine that was inside the pinball museum. Fantastic place, by the way. I highly recommend. Everybody in there was really cool. Like the, I think the 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 manager Beth and like the actual people that were in there playing. People, random strangers, were really nice to me, really approachable, and they were like willing to be on camera. Really cool. I'm on my second um, second round of Crush because the machine sells these for like a buck. I know you get them for cheaper, but like you're in the arcade, you're having popcorn and and soda. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Fat Game Boy. I'm here at Retro City Gamers. In Las Vegas. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm uh, Doug. I'm one of the uh, owners of the store. Um, yeah, we moved, moved up to this location about two years ago. Uh, been expanding. Started out with a couple thousand games. We're up to over 5,000 games in store. Um, constantly growing, man. Trying to get more stuff in here. Yeah, you guys expanded from the last time I was here. The it's, it's amazing. This is cool, dude. This <laughs> Thank you, man. Really cool. Appreciate it. Yeah, almost anything we get up that's of like interest um, or bigger stuff, we post up on our Instagram and Facebook. And um, yeah, if you want to follow us, it's uh, Retro City Games NV on our uh, Facebook or Retro City Games on Instagram. And yeah, we post up stuff. If you guys ever want anything, just hit us up. We'll hold stuff, send stuff, we ship, all that kind of stuff. like a regular thing in Vegas? I clear this counter two or four times a day. Yeah, I literally had this counter empty yesterday. So you like cleaned it all out and then somebody came in? Yeah, and what is, what is it right now? It's 4.30. It's, I've cleaned half the counter since I've been here and it's already still here, so it's safe. Do you ever be like, do you ever like see something you want personally? Yeah. Dude, every moment of every day I'm thinking about taking something home. <laughs> <laughs> well, what stops you? It's like Money. customer first. Your counter, dude. Dude, <laughs> this is a small day to be honest. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. I like two days ago I got a trade of like 200 PS2 games and then I had to put out. And I'm with Nicole. Nicole. And she's putting all these video games back and she hates it. It's a little tedious, but it'll look nice in the end. So. Which is your favorite system? Uh, Super Nintendo, probably. Super Nintendo, which game? Uh, my favorite is Mario World, but uh, I, that's my all time favorite, yeah. I'm in the GameCube section. I know I shouldn't be here. My girlfriend specifically told me not to get video games, but. I took an Uber and I left her out there gambling. And I'm here at Retro City Games in the GameCube section where I'm not supposed to be. And I already have a stack. I'll show you guys at the end of the video what I got.
here in my favorite place in the whole entire world. Alien fresh jerky. And I'm picking up some alien shirts because I love aliens.